Hi everyone, this is California Guy Lyle Cameron here to give you a great tip for your Asus laptop or any laptop for that matter. I recently purchased the Asus GL753VE laptop and I really enjoy it. However, after using it for a few hours, I noticed that the right click portion of the touchpad no longer worked. In other words, I no longer could right click. So I called Asus tech support who told me that it was a hardware problem and that I'd have to send the laptop back to where I purchased it from. They even gave me a ticket number. Not satisfied with their answer, I did some research on the internet and read that this was a common problem with some Asus laptops with Windows 10, which is what I have, by the way. And it was an easy fix. By the way, if you want a fast temporary fix, simply cold boot, also known as a hard boot of your laptop. To do this, go to the power button on your machine, turn it off. After your machine powers off, let it sit for 30 seconds, then power it back up again. Then the right click portion of your touchpad, lower right hand corner, should work again. Again, this won't last long. Before too long, your right click ability will be gone again. Okay, now I'm gonna show you the permanent solution, so let's get started. First, I'm gonna right click the Windows 10 button. If the cold boot did not give you back your right click ability, then simply type in the word device where Cortina words say, ask me anything. So I'm going to do that right down here. If you notice, and I'm simply type in D E and there is device manager. I'm going to move up and I'm going to click on device manager you're going to get this message. You're logged in as a standard user, blah, blah, blah. Just simply click OK. And after device manager pops up in the top area of the menu, then go to the human interface devices as attached. You click on the human interface devices. Note that the first two listed do not say Microsoft, but on my laptop, the third one did. I clicked on Update Driver. So let me go ahead and do that right now. First two, that one there and that one there did not have what I wanted. So I went to the very next one. It says HID, Compliant Customer Control Device. I double click that. Then I go over to where it says driver right here. I click on driver and then there's driver details. Now on my particular laptop where it says update driver, it was not grayed out. Uh, so I went ahead and clicked that. It updated the Windows 10 driver and I never had a problem again. And I've had this laptop for several months now. I use it daily for many hours. And again, never had another problem. However, if you get a message back advising you already have the latest driver, then I'd go to the next one. Let me go ahead and cancel out of this and go to the next one where it says HID compliant vendor, blah, blah, blah. Open that one up. See, it says general going over here to where I'm going now, where it says driver, click on that. And then that update driver for you, if it's not grayed out, is the one you want to click. I only updated the one I just showed you and I never had a problem again. I hope this helped you and good luck.